Hello again. Today we're going to have our fourth lesson on the structure of the atmosphere. In the first lesson we looked at the thickness of the atmosphere in relation to the whole planet. It's a very thin layer, approximately 100 kilometers thick out of the Earth's radius of 7,000 kilometers. We also looked at the change in pressure with height and the density and the composition of clean, dry air the gaseous composition. Today we're going to look at the change in temperature with height. So if this is our altitude axis this would be 100 kilometers from the surface at zero, 100 kilometers and the temperature axis we will take from minus 100 to plus 100 degrees C and that of course is temperature degrees Celsius. Right, so as we go from the surface upwards, the temperature starts off if here is zero, and strictly speaking I should maybe have my axis through, axis through there, those of you who are science purists, um, but we start off at about 25 degrees, 20-25 degrees is the average temperature of the Earth's surface, and it drops off fairly rapidly, about 10 or 15 kilometers up it turns around and increases and then drops off fairly rapidly again and then very surprisingly perhaps at the top of the atmosphere the temperature rises. Now that is very odd because I think most of us know that if you were to get out of a spacecraft or throw a bucket of water out of a spacecraft, if you could do that it would freeze instantly. In other words, the space is very cold. Now there's a big difference between the amount of heat and the actual temperature. Heat and temperature are two different things. The temperature refers to the energy of individual particles. So when we look at gaseous particles flying around the molecules in the atmosphere all move around independently of each other and in the process they collide and they vibrate and all of that energy translates into temperature. It is the total energy, sorry, the average energy of the molecules. It's a way, temperature is a way of expressing the average energy of the molecules. Um, whereas heat on the other hand is the total amount of energy. So at the top of the atmosphere where there is almost no air there is nothing to hold heat, so the, temp the um, amount of energy, the total amount of energy is very low, but each of those individual molecules is very highly energetic, so we talk about high temperature, and that is due to those individual molecules flying around. But there's so few of them that they can't hold a lot of heat. Um, you've got to have a lot of mass to hold a lot of heat. And so down at the bottom of the atmosphere where the air is much thicker, there is much more heat but a lower temperature because the molecules actually are moving relatively slowly. And then as you go up in the atmosphere to this point here, the temperature starts to increase again because something is causing the molecules in this zone to have more energy. So what we are going to be analyzing now is why there is an, a high energy zone in the bottom of the atmosphere, over here, why there is a high energy zone in the middle of the atmosphere, and why there is a high energy zone at the top of the atmosphere. But before we do that we perhaps need to give these things names. The lowest part of the atmosphere here, from there up to there where the temperature starts to increase, this zone of the atmosphere is called the troposphere, sometimes pronounced troposphere. Troposphere or troposphere, I don't mind how you pronounce it as long as you spell it correctly. Um, and this is the area that we live in. So the highest flying aircraft don't go out of the troposphere. Um, obviously spacecraft go way beyond that, but your, the top of the atmosphere as far as human occupation is concerned is the troposphere, but all sorts of other things as we've already mentioned is happening. Then this zone here, where the temperature is increasing evenly 
is called the stratosphere. And then above that is the mesosphere, which means middle. Meso and at the very top where the temperatures as we've said are very high not a lot of energy no sorry not a lot of heat but a lot of individual energy in the molecules is called the thermosphere so we've just got to watch our English there and you've heard me trip over it a couple of times temperature refers to the individual energy of the molecules heat refers to the total energy of the molecules and so when we talk about this being hot we are referring to temperature but if you get out of a spacecraft up there you will freeze instantly because your body will cool down by giving out heat very very quickly because there's nothing there's no air to blanket it whereas down here we are protected by the by the um, dense air of the troposphere these are the layers and then the boundaries between the layers all have particular names so this boundary between the troposphere and the stratosphere is called the tropopause and between the stratosphere and the mesosphere you can guess of course is going to be the strato pause and between the mesosphere and the thermosphere obviously then meso pause right now this is a very common um, exam question so you need to understand this graph and know what it is all about so just to quickly recap this is a graph of the temperature of the atmosphere from the surface to the effective top of the atmosphere the changes in temperature are due to processes that cause these layers to be warmer than the rest of the atmosphere and that is to do with various gases that are present and incoming solar radiation and we'll talk more about that in lesson 5.